look at it now though this let's just get a shot of the front of it because just with the two palm trees there and the, the the architecture it just yells out southern california doesn't it? absolutely uh next to city hall this is probably the most uh, recognized landmark in the city of los angeles but frankly we think it's even more beautiful than the city hall okay and, and when you get inside i think i can prove the point this was built in 1939 and when it was built it was crowded it was filled it was hustle bustle well particularly with the onset of world war ii uh, you know late 41 uh, and from 42 to end of the war in 45 it was jammed oh boy. just full of servicemen and people sleeping here literally on the floors overnight uh, <laughs> Look at this. Now, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be a sucker for you today because all you're going to hear me saying is ooh and ah, and, but I tell you, it is impossible to come and stand and look at this and not be overwhelmed. Well, people walking through here, and I'm here every day, uh, maybe it's their first time, but they literally stop here and are awestruck by this room and, and that room. Yeah, let's room. look at this room first because now this room used to be where you would buy the tickets. This is the former ticket concourse, three railroads, Santa Fe. Come on, Louie, we can walk right across the, right through the gate here. Look at this ceiling. Yes, those are the, obviously everything is original. 3,000 pound solid brass chandeliers swing a little bit in the earthquakes but have never had any kind of a problem this is built as solid as the rock of gibraltar look at all this, this marble. marble imported spanish style uh, type tile so we got uh, the spanish tile over here yep. the imported marble here lots of it from u.s the other states in the u.s as well as uh, italy this is the original original, the original walnut counters. counters correct <laughs> Now, why is this closed off, and what's going on in here now? Well, the Amtrak, the, the uh, passenger rail operations in the U.S. now, used one portion of this up to about two years ago. They only needed about a third of the counter space. So they have been moved back near the gate where people board the trains. Um, right now, we use this only for film, television, and ah, special events. You make a lot of movies in here. Lots of movies. Really? Very popular. They like the open space? Exactly. 70-foot ceilings, get the camera way up. They like the floors. They like the tile. Oh. All acoustic material on the walls. It's a very live room. We, we've had many concerts in here. Well, Louie, I want you to turn around and get one more shot of this before we leave. It's such a spectacular room. I hate to leave this one, but I know we've got a lot more wondrous things ahead of us. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the... This, this is the vestibule. The, the vestibule. Station. Yes. Kind of like in a cathedral. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is the entry point, and we are now walking toward the waiting room of the station. Well, now, this was traditionally the waiting room of the station. Absolutely. Right? These are the original chairs. We I know. I love the chairs. And you had told me earlier that you've just spent a lot of money restoring these original chairs. All reupholstered and all the wood refinished. Now, some of these used to be in the ticket concourse area uh, because people waiting for a ticket wanted a place to sit down and relax. But um, you don't see anything this comfortable in... No, Most they don't make chairs. Or airports. They don't make chairs like this anymore. These are, you wouldn't mind waiting for a train no, sitting no, in a chair like no, that. Exactly. 